it's Lindsay. Welcome back to The Wandering Reader. Today I'm going to be doing the booktube community tag. Um, I was tagged to do this by Doris over at All The Books. I will leave a link to her channel down below. She tagged anybody who was doing Vlogmas, which at the time I was doing Vlogmas and now I'm not. But anyway, I'm going to do this tag. Um, this is an original tag by the channel Richardson Reads. Um, so again, I will leave a link to the original video down below. There are 13 questions, so let's jump into the first question. Question number one is, how long have you been watching BookTube? Um, and I would say I've been watching BookTube for about three years now. So I'm coming up for my two year anniversary on BookTube. I think that is on something like December the 28th or 29th, something like that. It was right after Christmas a couple of years ago. Um, and I'd been watching BookTube for about a year before that. Um, I can't actually remember how I got into it, what kind of I stumbled across or some, I, yeah I don't really remember but it was obviously a rabbit hole that I fell down very very quickly and um, haven't come out of since. Question number two is how long have you been a booktuber? So I've already answered that question. Uh, question number three, how many countries do you have on your subscriber list and how many countries booktubers do you subscribe to? Um, so if I think about people on my subscriber list, um, so I have people that live in the States, in Canada, in Australia, I have people that live in Iceland um, that I know of that comment on my videos. Yeah, I can't really think of other countries apart from that. They're the ones I know for definite. And then um, booktubers that I subscribe to, again, from the States, from Canada, from Australia. Um, who else do I subscribe to? Some, a couple in South Africa, I think. Um, one from Trinidad. Um, who else do I subscribe to? I think that kind of covers the main country. So I don't have as wide a spread as I would like. Um, so if you've got any recommendations for booktubers who live in countries that I haven't mentioned, which is the majority of the world, uh, then please leave them down below. Oh, um, New Zealand is another one, but I think this again is the Western world, isn't it? I need to come away from the Western world. So um, yeah, I there are a few different countries in there, but I think I could definitely benefit from um, yeah, subscribing to a wider variety of booktubers from different countries. Question number four, describe how you handle your comment section. Do you have regular conversations with certain people? Uh, the answer is, and Doris said this as well, not very well. Since my channel has got a bit bigger, um, I find it more difficult to keep up with the comments. So I tend to like and love lots of comments. Um, and there are people that I have more regular conversations with, but again, it's been a while since I've gone on and had those regular conversations. Um, so I really need to get back into doing that. I wanted to get myself into a habit of replying to comments on my phone as soon as they come up. What I don't like about the comment section on phones is that when you go to reply to a comment, it clicks onto your own video and then starts playing again. And I... I don't want to watch my own video, obviously. I just want to reply to the comments. So I wish there was a way on the app on your phone that you could just reply to a comment without going to the video. Um, so YouTube, if you're watching, please. Um, so yeah, I, I, make, I make a conscious effort in the new year to, to kind of try and get myself into the habit of doing that. Um, trying to reply to comments as soon as they come up on my phone or like within uh, a certain amount of time because they just kind of drift at the moment, um, and I know that's not good. Uh, question number five is, do you interact with booktubers on other social media other than YouTube? Um, if so, what? Yes, um, Twitter, um, I interact with people quite a lot. Um, I don't go on and necessarily tweet myself all of the time, but I um, like lots of things and reply to people and things like that, um, just kind of keep up with the general bookish community. Um, I also have a bookish Instagram account where I have stopped posting regularly uh, since August. I just haven't got back into swing of things since August. So that's, again, something I've got to pick up again um, in January. 
Um, but again, I like lots of photos on there and comment on them and things like that. I think, yeah, those are the two main ones. Facebook, I don't really use for this part of my life. Um, so yeah. Question number six, do you rely on some booktubers for recommendations? Yeah, all of them. That's basically the only place where I get my recommendations now. I subscribe to a few sort of like email things. So like, um, I can't even think about what the name is now. Is it Book Riot? Yeah, Book Riot. So I've got a really itchy nose. Um, and things like that. And like, I get them from bookstagram and things but it's mainly from watching booktube videos um i get a lot of my recommendations from sarah over at steeped in books karen from other rereading um i get them from um doris from all the books um heidi from my reading life they're kind of like the main ones um christopher from books and jams lisa from books and smiles and then obviously I watch a, a plethora of other booktubers and kind of get recommendations as I go along the way. Um, so yeah, it's my only so source of recommendations for books, well, not my only one, but maybe like 90, 95% of where I get my recommendations from. Question number seven, do you interact with other booktubers on email regularly or occasionally? No, I've occasionally been in contact with them about things like... Um, Reading films that I've been involved in, things like that, but otherwise, not not okay at all. Question number eight: With some tag videos, do you mix it up or do you tend to tag the same people? I probably tag the same people quite a lot of the time. I do try to mix it up, and I do try to think about whether that person will do that particular tag, whether it suits their channel, or whether they'll be interested in answering those questions. But I do have my go-to people that I tag. Um, who you'll probably see at the end of the video. Question number nine, have you ever mailed books to another booktuber? Um, for the book swapathon I have, other than that, no. Number nine, well, that was question number nine, sorry. Uh, question number 10, have you received books in the mail from other booktubers? Again, yes for the, um, the book swapathon. Although I don't think they were booktubers to be honest. No, they were more like, subscribers of other people's channels or people that were interested in doing the readathon and I have had books sent to me from uh, one of my subscribers before so not from booktubers no oh no hold on a second do you count me winning a prize from Russell over at Income Paper blog I don't know maybe you, maybe you could yeah I got the last days of Cafe Layla as a prize from him so that was really cool but other than that uh, question number 11, have you ever visited or been visited by another booktuber? Yes, um, we went to the booktuber meetup in London in April and I met up with a load of different booktubers there um, and it was an absolutely brilliant day. Um, I think we were supposed to go in the autumn, I think it's supposed to be like a twice yearly thing but um, it never got around to being arranged and of course things are really busy so hopefully I'll see them again in the new year it was just a lovely day it was you know just so lovely to engage in conversation with like-minded people and just learn so much from them as well and go book shopping with them it was yeah it was a fabulous day question number 12 do you do body reads is it always with the same people are they booktubers I have done body reads in the past I've done them with, with a variety of different booktubers um, I think Lisa from Books and Smiles is the only one that I've done a buddy read with twice. I tried to do a second buddy read with Harriet over at Harriet Rosie, but the book that we chose wasn't really suiting us, so we both DNF'd it. Um, yeah, I stopped doing them for a little while just because I kind of, I was feeling the pressure when it came to my TBRs and things like that, I wasn't really keeping up. Um, and so I stopped kind of doing them. But I do want to get back into a few in the new year. So I might do try and do a smattering of them throughout 2019. So I do really enjoy discussing books with people. And I know people like Doris and Heidi do buddy reads all the time. And they really, really enjoy them. So I do want to do a few in 2019, definitely. Um, and then question number 13 is who do you tag? So I'm going to tag Karen from Rather Reading, 
I'm going to tag um, Sarah over at Steeped in Books. I'm going to tag, um, who else am I going to tag? Uh, Krista from Books and Jams. Yeah, those three I'm going to tag. Um, yeah, I'd love to see your answers, ladies. Um, yeah, so that's it. Thanks very much for watching, guys. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I love chatting to you guys, as always, even though I am, I've been quite terrible at replying to comments. Um, as I discussed in this video, I still love you commenting on my videos and try to reply as much as I can. So there we go. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.